welcome back to my channel my name is crab queen and today i'm gonna start up a brand new project so let's get started so yeah this is a little bit what i gathered already so cool i love the colors but let me first introduce you the papers okay guys so this time i'm gonna work with the moody burundi paper collection and uh, again 78 sheets 12 double sided uh, so you have six sheets each and the cover is also uh, covered with a bag um, but oh my gosh look at this oh my gosh we're gonna work with this yeah 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 this is tiny so first of all first I'm gonna gather all the sets with each one and then I'll come back to you and talk about the papers just to give you a little bit idea but this is how I gather my sets I like to work with it to have it all ready because I don't want to use too much the same papers in one page so that's how I like to work to work with sets so this is how I gather all my sets Yay! and then they all are finished and ready to use so let me put these away and then I'll come back show you all okay guys so my six sets are ready to use but let me first talk about the paper so moody burgundy i like absolutely how it turns out um, i like the feminist in it i like the color combinations it's just one of the collection that i have thought about it many many years and i definitely wanted to do it but yeah sometimes you have to move on with other things and then you this goes to the back but finally <laughs> finally i i found the nerves to start with this project i really like it so the moody book so this is the cover so you can see already a little bit um how it all is um you also can use of course these images or um or the title you still can use but the back i made a nice grungy beige page which you can use for every occasion it's very easy to be used so that's why i chose for that then we have four beautiful cut apart cards um yeah again this image is was my most beautiful image which i made the complete collection with uh, the inspiration of this lady that's why i always <laughs> i have a little bit of the same um yeah you call this a, a sweater a blouse i don't know but yeah to get in the mood <laughs> okay then we have perfume i like perfume i like the feminist i like the 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 oh i call that yeah it's just butterflies are one of my favorite favorite animals love it butterflies gives you the free spirit and yeah i can't say that enough <laughs> and then this this girl this girl really catches me because it's a little yeah funky um yeah not steampunk but i just love this image so so cool and again with the lace dress and then the, the colors everything is just perfect to use um the bag yeah you all know i like um stripes and dots so i could not resist to add dots in this one the black with the white dot easy to be used fits perfect with this collection then we get to these pages these pages are very easy to use you can cut this way you can use it this direction you can cut out the flowers if you want easy to be used nice background background yeah with the black lace it's just perfect i like it and then the back is also very grungy with yeah some kind of wallpaper kind of papers i really like the beige 
touch in it and that grunge really gets to it so so stunning then we get to the burgundy flowers the roses yep that could not I could not leave that behind of course um, so I chose for the smaller uh, roses I could make them big but I think the smaller one is very good to be used as backgrounds or just little strips also so that's very good to be used then this fits nicely with the color combinations with the beige the brown the black the grungy touch in it so i really like this one to add in this collection and then we come to another cut apart page with uh, the little tags the little cards and um i added some quotes on it the love is real love of course amazed by you i am a princess in my own fairy tale do I need to say more? <laughs> there is only one of you. Love you. Hello, lovely one. You make the difference. So I think this paper shout out a very powerful feminine team. Don't you think? I really like it. It's so cool. And then the back is, um, yeah, nice crunchy with some stamps, with some, yeah, letters. I really like it. Easy to be used. And then this one, this one I had, um, so it, it's quite the same background, but then of course the stripe and the, 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 the tear apart page. And then there is this beautiful image at the back that brings back the feminine. Yeah. Did I explain that a little bit? <laughs> okay, and then the back, a very nice beige, good brown, crunchy. But still, it has some, some leaves, some flowers, and there is a little dot on the back. So there is plenty going on, but still a very nice, solid page. Easy to be used. Then we have another cut apart page, yeah, 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 with smaller tags, cards. And these are easy to uh, write something down. If you have a little quote or a little... A story to be told or you want to add your name on it or whatever it's very easy so these are note cards little note cards so not much image on it um, I put not any words or quotes on it that's totally up to you for adding little stories on it so little note cards and then in the bottom I had some place left there are three tags with the quote on I am the queen of my castle mm -mm -mm, I am and step into your power I'm not bossy I'm the boss okay do I need to say <laughs> more yeah I really wanted to be this strong feminine page pages I really like it um, and then the back this is a nice flesh pink background with a tiny little leaves on it so it's very i don't can i show you close but it's a very nice solid background but still there is something on it so i really like it so and this color fits amazingly with this one so here they are coming back the the the, the flashy pink roses and some stamps on the back well again the grungy vibe is in here here it smooches a little bit away a ton is going on with this page um, I really like it and in combination with this one so it's not that dark you can make your pages dark or you can make your pages very light and lovely and light <laughs> and then the back we have a nice uh, beige uh, background but this is with some fleshy pink ornaments easy to be used guys love this one and the combination is just perfect then we have another busy page. Um, oh, I love this one. So definitely I will cut out this one maybe several times. I don't know because I just love this one. And yep, the black lace is coming back and the wallpaper kind of thing. Love it. <laughs> and then we go to a little darker. So this is a little gothic style, but still it has a lovely, lovely romantic attached with the roses in the middle don't you think i really like it so cool it looks even better if you have it in your own hands 
trust me with that. Many, many people told me <laughs> that my papers are better if you have them in your hands than, than I can show you on camera. Then we have another cut apart page. These are also note cards, easy to be used. Write your own story on here, make some bookmarks, make some little tags, make some little notebooks with them. Easy to be used, tag, yeah. You can do everything with these. And then we have some words, and moody, just you, love it, imagine, powerful. So it's very easy to put these everywhere you want. And then the back. The back is uh, again a nice solid page. Um, a nice beige background, grungy thing. With coming back the flash pink dot. Easy to be used. Oh, I love it. And then we have a newspaper page, but there was also some music, tarot part pages, some coffee stains, some little images. I like it. I like it. So cool. And then the back, we have brought back the, the ornament, but then in black and white. Of course, the black and white can't miss in this collection. Cool. Then we have another cut apart page. Yeah, I could not resist. There were so many, so many images to be used. Um, so here we have, yep, some music instruments. The butterfly comes back. We have some birds also in here. Um, again, of course, these beautiful perfume bottles. Absolutely stunning. And some amazing ladies with fits my dress. <laughs> I love this one and this is an, 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 a different um, image but it, it's yeah I really like it. it it's all just a combination the combination is just amazing I love it and at the back we have again a very nice solid papers with the little leaves again but then the burgundy color at the back mm, I don't know if you can see that but I will try to show you and then we have our last page again. Yeah, I call this a wallpaper page. Pages. I don't know exactly, but it, it seems a little bit. I would have this in my room for wallpaper pages. Wallpaper walls. I definitely would. Again, uh, you can cut out this this nice flower to be used maybe on a cover or in some other pages. Um, the black lace. You can also cut this out. Very cute to be a nice big pocket idea tip um so yep cool and then the back oh yes my most no not the most favorite one but of course i could not resist to make a nice stripe but a heavy stripe because it fits with the papers and of course the black and white well the black and nice beige burgundy not burgundy the nice beige beige brownish um grungy background with this black stripe. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love, love, love it. So guys, what do you think? Shall we start? Okay, let's get started. Okay, first, before I even start with a new project, I need to fill up, free fill, pre-fill. I need to fill up my black papers that I'm going to use because these papers scream for black. <laughs> and um, I just thought, well, if I need to open a new package, then I'm going to show you what I use. Um, I believe this papers is not everywhere available, um, but in Europe, I think you will can get if you want. But this is, I just want to show you, I use this, but you can use any other cardstock you prefer, any weight you like to use. But I just show you what I use. So I use my Claire Fontaine, 160 gram, and it's a copy laser inject. Well, it's just print paper. And um, in my pack, there are 20, uh, 250 sheets. It's A4 and 160 gram, and it's black. And that's just what I like to use. So I'm going to refill it, and I'm going to use it. How many papers do you need to use in a project? I have no idea. I just fill up my... My, my bag with, with papers and I never count them. I never ever count them. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the cover to cut in the 
correct size. So um, first of all, I need three of my chipboard pieces and they are two millimeter thick, thick. And I always like to first draw the lines, the measurements to see if I have enough or that I everything did correctly. So that's what I did. I started with the spine and the spine is three and a half by eight one fourth inch. So that's three and a half by eight one fourth inch. And in centimeters, that's nine by 21 centimeters. I'm going to show you the note in just a second. Then the other two needs to be um, yeah, <laughs> 10 3 fourth, 10 3 fourth by 8 1 fourth inch and two times of course and in centimeters it's 27 and a half by 21 centimeters two times okay so I'm going to show you the note so the spine is three and a half by 8 1 fourth and in centimeters that's 9 by 21 centimeters the cover is 10 3 fourth by 8 1 fourth inch and in centimeters, it's 27 and a half by 21 centimeters. And you'll need it double, of course. Okay, so that are the measurements for the cover. So I'm going to cut this out and I'll come back to you when I finished cutting. So I'm just going to use, because my cutters I will not allow me to cut two millimeter inch. Um, chipboard so I'm just going to use my knife and my ruler with a cutting plate so let's do that okay and when that is done you will have this way. you will have your spine this you have left and this you have left just save it you never know what I'm going to do with it just put it somewhere and you never know but this is what you will get so you have your spine and you have your back and your front okay I think this is a nice nice size front okay so that we have now first yeah we can't first do this but I first like to go make the tunnel so I can explain a little bit so just grab one piece of your cover Okay, so I can explain a little bit. So for our tunnel pages, how to measure your tunnel pages? Well, first of all, I like to have my pages to be as flat as possible. So I always like to have that extra. So I start with that extra. Now, normally I would do a half inch, but these pages are large. So I'm going to go with a three fourth. So that is, I'm staying away 3, 4, because here we have that extra gusset. So our pages are going to be laying flat as flat as possible. And then I'm just going to measure from that 3, 4, because I'm staying away here. I'm staying away from the spine. I'm just going to measure. And that's why I cut mine already. That, that little piece off, because... Now you can see I have a teen, a, t a teen, <laughs> a 10 inch left. That's why we cut it a 10 3 fourth. So that means that you can make your pages all the way for a 10 inch or a little shorter. So I will make mine, I think a 9 3 fourth. So that I have a little left from here. So I always can put inserts in our tunnel pages with a little um, ribbon or a little bow or something or a little pull out. I don't want to have too much to pull out of the end. But if you want to make them shorter, then you have enough space to make it a nine and a half if you want. Then you have a little bit more space. But I like it as close as it can to get to the edge. But it's totally up to you. If you want to have some, I call these, uh, these tabs like these to pull out, then you need a little bit more space. Otherwise it will 
come after your cover and I don't like it but I think a 9 3 4 will do perfect a 9 3 4 that's the length of the tunnel and then this guy well I obviously have the same size as my cover as in the black papers and I do need a half inch so my ending will be a half inch shorter so that I I think I will end up with a 734. I think. So if I am correctly, then my ending pages will be 734 by 934. Let's check that. So let's grab our pages. So the first thing that I definitely know is that I want to have it a 9 3 4 Okay, so let me cut that first. A 9 3 4 You can check. You definitely can check. We made that 3 4 right here to stay away. See? And then I still have this little left right here at the end. I like that. So 934, and it's still a nice big page, don't you think? Yeah, it's a nice big page. You can make it larger if you want, but then just make your measurements otherwise. But I go for a 934. Now let's score the longest size, half inch. Just add some tape on, and then we're gonna make the other one. You also can use your liquid glue if you want. So this is the first step. Let's make another one. So let me first cut this a nine three four. Don't throw these away. I was this away you never know what you need it for always save them and then again half inch half inch score Off a little corner grab your other one but it needs to be the opposite side okay flip it over just first go to the corner where you did not peel it off then I go to the white corner right here I'm just watching that everything is nice and straight if it is keep your hand on it Glue this together where you already peel it off. Peel the rest of the strip off. There you go. Flip it over. Peel off this side of the strip. Make this as flat as possible. And there you go. Your tunnel is ready. Nice. Okay, check again. So if you have your page, the 3 4 line is right here, and then at the end when this page is with this when this page is ready, you just can see how nice we have those edges left. I like this size. So that's it is. So as I mentioned, the end result is Check, check, check. 9 3 4 by 7 3 4 7 3 4. That's the end result. Okay, so you just need to cut down your page. Maybe you don't have an A4 size. So if you cut down your page a 9 3 4 inch by 
what was it, an 814 by 814 inch, then you can make easily this page tunnel. Okay, so cut your pages. If you have other size papers, papers cut your papers 934 by 814 and then score half inch on the long side and then you're good to go with your tunnel. How many? I have no idea how many pages we're going to make. That all depends on how activity, how much activity I do in the pages or how thick I want it to be. So, or how many papers that we have, but 78 sheets, <laughs> we can do a lot of that. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to start with the cover, guys. I don't know. Mm, let's see, but you can go and make your tunnels. Okay, for those who want to know the measurements for the tunnels, so cut your piece 934 by 814 inch and score half inch long sides. And if you use centimeters, then cut your papers 24.7 by 21 centimeters and same thing, score half inch long sides. Okay, now there you have your tunnels. <laughs> I'm going to start. What the cover? Yeah. <coughs> so, just go have some black. And then this will not fit, of course. So we need to cut this down. <coughs> How much is this? This is an 814. Um, an 814 is definitely a 1 inch. A 10 1 4 It is. How much do we need? Hmm. That's one, two, well, four at least. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut four pages, a ten, one fourth, so I have a one inch completely on the other side, a ten, one fourth, does not have to be perfect. Ooh. Okay, four pages, and uh, let's glue down first one page. Let me put this just for a second away. So you can use glue or tape, but oh god, I love to use the tape. It makes it so much easier. So I'm going to use my tape as a guideline. So I'm just going to put this on top. There we go. just back guys for Jews who does not watch my Facebook I'm just back from a week holiday in Turkey and oh my gosh the weather is so cool right there oh now it's cool nice and warm <laughs> I mean oh my gosh and then here it's cold but this the weather here in Holland goes so fast from hot to cold it's just ridiculous. It what, yesterday it was nine nine degrees, and and it, it is the month month and a half ago. It was hot up here, so I could not craft up here, and now it's already cold. So actually, here in Holland, you only need to have t-shirts for the warm weather and sweaters for the cold weather. Nothing in between. I do have. Uh, pieces with 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 long uh, long sleeves, but actually it's not not needed because I actually do have a nice warm sweater over it. <laughs> it definitely is needed. Good heaven. 
Okay, let's grab back our pieces. Um, oh, wait, just a sec. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just going to start in the middle where I attached a piece. That is definitely going to be my spine in the middle. So I don't have any attachment near these gussets. Okay. And then the other ones. So I definitely need to short this. That's okay. But this is a little bit how my starting is. So I'm just going to start with this one. Oh, I do need to fill this up. This is my old bottle. I think I already have a new one. Yeah, let's just use the new one. And then I can fill it up with the other one. Let's see shake it up because I it is a long time that I use it of course I think it's so new that I still have a piece on yes <laughs> a new bottle so yeah this is my arc glitter glue I love it because, yeah, it dries fast. This is my old bottle, but the the this piece is 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 broken. Oh yeah, this one it was. This one was broken. This one I definitely that is my old bottle. That is my second bottle. Yeah, I do have plenty of bottles, but I just love this glue. It dries fast. It's really strong. I love it. It's not cheap. I know the shipping is also not allowed when frosty weather is so during the winter do not order our glitter glue because it will destroy so what happened when you have this in a room where it can freeze then it get water and it does not go back in 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 the glue form so that's just what i not um, for me it does not happen so I have my bottles in a room where it can't go freezing but I just read it on Facebook a couple of times that people are destroying their art glitter, art glitter glue well not on purpose of course but But it just can't freeze. It, it's not. It's not. This glue really destroys when it's too cold. So keep your glue in a room where it's a normal temperature. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put these on here, and then I'm gonna cut this shorter. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys. I just glued down my two covers now how much in between i do like a four millimeter going in between is this a four millimeter i always eyeball it yep it's a four millimeter i does this so many times that i don't need to measure but yeah this is the size that i do like because you are going to need it um so let me first burnish it down on the back so the glue will nicely go into my chipboard. Here we go. And now of course I need to cut this one shorter. I'm going to stay with the one inch all the way around. There we go. There we go. It does not have to be perfect, guys. Definitely do need not. Do need not? Mm, bad English. <laughs> okay, so that is that now let's go for the corner okay so for the corners you have tools for that um 
I don't know, I don't even know where, oh, here it is. You have tools for that. You don't need it, but I'm just gonna show you that there are. This is colorwayart.com. It's a gift, so I did not get it, but it's a gift from someone. Um, so you just can put, you even can put this under your cutting plate and put your knife behind it. Um, again, you can cut it out with your knife or you just draw the line. Now, this is pretty far away, so I don't like it. I just don't. So that's why I don't use it that much. But it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Because I think this is too wide. So what I normally do, yeah, I'm not gonna use anything. I'm just using my eyeballs. I'm just gonna cut this. Two millimeter is, is more than enough. Absolutely more than enough. So I'm just going to use my scissors and I am just going to cut this down two millimeters away. You also can use, yeah, you also can cut it two millimeters and then go a little off. This is absolutely the most cutting corner that I love to use. Or you can use the straight way, but the straight way. Um, yeah, I don't like that much, but I'm going to show you why. So I'm just going to go from here till the two millimeters and then I go a little off. Yeah, crazy, I know. But I'm going to show you the difference between this corner and this corner. Then what I like to do is put some tape, put some tape on your chipboard and I like to go all the way around of course so you can do that right away also from the shorter ones There you go. Okay. Let's peel off your tape. Now, what I first like to do is bend your papers. You can use your ruler for that, your fingers for that, but I'm just gonna first gently bend this against the chipboard. So be as straight as possible with the bending so you don't have any gaps. So nice and tight. Also can use for this um, your, your bone folder, but I just love to use my fingers so I can feel and pressure to the chipboard. Okay. Then what I like to do is add some glue against the chipboard, and then of course and. Um, the end of your black papers, and maybe in between. Okay, then start in the middle, and now the um, the tape will give you right away that it attached perfectly. Okay, let's go to the other side. So just bend it all and then of course we go to the bone folder and we just press it all down. So the glue and the tape can hold it all for you. Go. Okay. 
Okay, now what I also like to do, but that's maybe not handy, but if you just squeeze this, then it is handy. Just use your bone fold, be gentle, be gentle, and squeeze that glue into your papers, then you get a nice, straight cover. Be gentle to do this. See all those edges going nice and smoothly, straight, like it. Okay, let's turn it around and let's do exactly the same thing. Exactly the same. So just peel off your tape. Let's work with the paper and the chipboard. Just work with it. Use your muscles. Now you are ready. There we go. Squeeze it down. Burn it down. there is something not glue down just go back there you go now we come to the corner now if you can see, this 2 millimeter overlaps it a little. Hope you can see that, this, this little guy right here. So we're going to squeeze that around the corner, nice and flat. Same thing here, just go around the corner and make that flat. And now we're just going to do exactly the same. Start in the middle, squeeze. The papers just around your chipboard. Start in the middle again, hold it down. And now we come to the part where the difference is when cutting the corners. Squeeze this flat. I think I'm gonna better the other way, the other one around. The other one. I think it's better to show, but with this corner you already see. If you cut it straight, and you will see here, you have an opening. See that? You have an opening. And if you cut it the other way, like I do, with the odd corner, then you don't have any gap. But I think I'm gonna, I think this one it was the same. So around the corner, make it flat. Around the corner, make it flat. Here we 
Squeeze the corners flat. And as you can see right here, there is no seam chipboard right here. That's what I like. Um, that everything is filled with black. But yeah, either way, either way it's perfect, but I do like that odd corner, not the straight one. But that's just my point of view, of course. But look how nicely the corners are. See that? Nice. Perfect corners. I like it. Okay, but yeah, as you can see here, there is a little gap. With the chipboard still seeing. I don't like that. But the two millimeter away from the corner is more than enough. Okay, so then we're gonna fold it in. So here is our gusset. I'm just gonna grab a bone folder, which is not thin and sharp. This is a nice bulky one, so please be aware of maybe you have a ruler, but try to not use a sharp thing. Um, so just fold it in. And then just fold it. There you go. The other part. So the paper goes into that gusset. Into that groove. And if you have this, you will see that on top. See? The papers. The papers goes into the groove. As you can see, it just goes in. And now I still have place for if you add your papers on here, that also goes in the groove. That's why you need that space. Otherwise, the papers can't go into in between the chipboards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my explanation. I like it. And with the wider gussets, this paper will not crack whatsoever. I still do use bookbinders linen but that's more for decoration and for just to be sure but if you not use it it's not gonna crack if you use a white gusset okay so now our cover is ready I do like the size it's not too wide otherwise you get a very I do make a full uh, A4 size um, album but I think a little shorter is a very nice size okay guys so far so good see you next time okay guys um I have this piece um folks leather um and in the back there is some fabric in it so we're definitely going to use the fabric tag for this one don't think that you can peel this off so it's a little bit thinner, I don't think. So we're going to use this. And first I am going to cut this. So it fits nicely on here. Let's cut this one down. fits now perfectly yes so I am going to use my fabric tag I'm gonna put that all on on here maybe first also on here I don't know just yet maybe some double sided tape maybe also don't I don't know yet but the fabric tag definitely will do its job and otherwise I'm gonna redo it but look how gorgeous this is I absolutely love it and it fits so wonderful to this project so I'm gonna fill it up with glue put it on and let it dry before you're gonna bend it okay 
So let's do that. Okay, I added quite a lot. I first added double-sided tape all the way around and also with the spine. And then quite a lot of the fabric tag. Hope it's enough. Yep. Okay, place this in the middle. on of course you need to burnish it down and then we wait we wait and let it dry and in the meantime we can think on what we want for the cover what papers do we need an extra frame think about all of that what closure do you want? Do you want to have a close? Do you want to have a closure? Do you want some decorations? Do you want a ribbon closure? That's all to think about right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna push it all down with my fingers, especially the edges, but in the middle also. And then we're just gonna let it dry. Not gonna bend it. Let us it first dry. I'm also not gonna use any clamps, otherwise the marks will be in there. Just let it dry. I think we got it. Let it dry. Put it away and let it dry. Okay, let's see what we can do with the cover. In the meantime that my spine is going to dry, I am going to cut out all my cut apart sheets. I'm just having my fish cards in front of me and I'm just going to take my time to cut it all. I do love my fish cards to cut it because I know exactly where it cuts. And you can cut it complete image or with just a little edge. Totally up to you what you like to cut. Just take your time. Normally, I only um, take one sheet each, and may normally I can do it with that, but sometimes I do cut more. But trying to do my best not to use that much the same images. I do like that extra edge on these also. Just gives, and if you glue this down on some black paper, then you already have a nice background. So that is cute, 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 cute. So just take your time, let the book binders linen dry. And maybe you can do this the same time as I do. Just take your time cutting out all these nice little tags, cards. So cute. <laughs> 